All right. Looks like everything's working. Um, I'm running Vantage on Threadripper because this is part of Team Cup. So I thought that was a good good way to kick off the stream. Um, I'm really hyped about what's going to happen. Um, I think there's some good stages in there for sure. And I'm going to break them down for everybody in case you hadn't already looked at them. Uh, internet seems good. I have a beer which I'm going to crack open. I also have, yes, Team Cup hype. Uh, I also have a mystery box. It's amazingly big. <laughs> so um, after the stage breakdown, uh, I'm going to I'm going to open that up. OK, that was just one GT. Uh, <laughs> I just ran that just for for lols. My thread river board is crazy. It's just completely crazy. Um, I've had to reinstall Windows 7 because it just doesn't accept images. It, it just has some weird, really smart mechanism whereby it um, recognizes that you've imaged a hard drive and won't boot up off of it. Off of it. So I just have a, an empty install here, which I may run a little bit of chiller 1950X on later on. Let's see how, how it goes time-wise. Time but um, that is a very large 1950X. Indeed it is. And it's also something else in there, which is quite small. But uh, we'll get to that later. Um, OK, so uh, how come this is not big enough? Um, I'm going to go to the regular stages. So Team Cup 2018. Oh, god, that hybrid bot logo is ugly. Um, I have to mention here that uh, I've sort of rearranged my desk once again. The good news is the streaming PC is almost ready. I was dumb enough to to um, restore a 32-bit Windows 10 image to use for it, which is obviously not ideal. So I've had to start from scratch there and reinstall all the updates on slow internet. But we're getting close to it being finished. Um, the other thing is I've rearranged all my, my um, stuff on my desk. I'm going to have space for uh, a fourth screen, actually. So I'm going to buy a high refresh rate screen for Legacy 3D. And it's going to be amazing because I'm going to have two screens and the laptop screen for my streaming setup and then a screen for benching. Um, enough about the setup. So this is these are the stages that have been um, sort of uh, teased by Leghoft today or last night, I suppose, European time. Obviously not final but I'm going to look at them anyway. Uh, so they've broken it down into 32 stages and and four four sub sub competitions basically of eight stages each. Um, so DDR1, 2, 3 and 4. Um, so I've sort of put together a list for myself in terms of what I, f I feel like I might might sub or not. Uh, so there's Socket A or 462. I don't know why people give it two different names. I call it Socket A because it came after slot A, so it's easy to remember for me. PyFast. Um, it all depends on whether I will have the hardware for that. I have, um, I may be buying a, a 462 board and I have quite a few chips actually, uh, which I don't know, are hiding somewhere in my cupboard, cupboard, but I have lots of chips and a big bag of like kilos of them. So that's a maybe because I like 2D and because all I'm really missing is the board and maybe some RAM, but I don't know, for PyFast, maybe, maybe it all comes down to the clocks on the on that platform. Um, 754, I have the board, so that's a maybe as well. Um, 478, I have an A-bit board, so that's also a maybe. 939. I have the chips only, no board. So this old 3D stuff, sorry to say, but unless there is like a massive shortage inside of the team, I I won't be I won't be subbing. To be honest, even this one, I probably won't be subbing. Memory frequency, I just have no interest in, especially dual dim. So again, depending on how the hardware restrictions break down, if they insist on 
um, three different, it's always three submissions per stage. So if they insist on three different sockets and three different memory kits, then maybe by default, I'll be subbing 754 for, for um, frequency. But uh, in, in a normal scenario, I won't be subbing any of that. Um, that's the issue with DDR1 and 2, by the way, is that um, I don't really have good kits. I mean, I have a bunch of kits, but I, I'm pretty sure that none of them are good uh, ICs. So that's kind of a little bit of an issue. Uh, okay, DDR2. Um, I have the 6400 plus, which is one of the best chips for, for this bench. So I'd actually like to bench SuperPi 1M AM2. Uh, I have a feeling it would do pretty well on single stage or chillers. So I like that. The issue with uh, 775 stages, so we have the W prime and the X265 stage here, is I don't have a DDR2 board. Um, saying that, I will quickly grab a board and people can tell me if it's any good. I'll be back in a second. Is this what I should be using on DDR2, uh, LGA 11, uh, 775? I haven't even unwrapped this. So this is an MATX uh, LAN party board. Let's let's see what's in here. I'm gonna have a double unboxing tonight, <laughs> or triple unboxing, depending how you look at it. Uh, so I got this really cheap. I think the chip in it is no good. I mean, it's not relevant to the team cup. So, let's see here. Um, I have a different view for that even. This is the unboxing cam. Um, is a chat box being hidden? Um, hold on. Okay, they don't always have the settings of full LAN party does. Okay. Yeah, I'll have to, I'll have to check it, but it's worth, it's worth putting up and having a look, you know. So I think this is P45. There's no markings on it, really. Um, I'm guessing the memory is pretty crap as well. Version 1.2, it's 55515. Uh, two gigabyte DIMMs, that's not good. Uh, 800555. Um, it's PC8500. It's uh, 1066. Is that good? Is that actually good? I don't know. Hold on. Maybe you can even read it. Uh, okay. There you go. That's actually quite legible. 1066 bin, version 1.2. Uh, what I see is that. Is it a good one? Better hang on to those if you're if you actually if your interest is peaked. Okay, hang on onto them. Um, the board, I mean, look. Uh, the thing is, if I can, what are the um, what are the the benches anyway? Um, so for seven seven five, we have W prime and we have X two six five. W prime doesn't care about memory, so if I can just get this board running at cold bug. Um, let me just make sure my chat box is not. I've had to fiddle around with my uh, my setup here. Uh, all of my sticks are five twelve. Okay, it's P PSC. PSC is bad for um, DDR two, isn't it? Um, so W prime. Maybe this board is good enough for W prime, for example, because all I need is the right chip, the right bin. Oh, sorry, the right uh, skew, the right bin of that skew, and then if the board doesn't blow up. We're good. Multicore, yeah. Okay, so that's that's the seven seven five story. I have a rampage extreme on the way. I would have been keen to put the uh, North Bridge on chiller, but uh, there's there's no seven seven five DDR three uh, stages. Um, AM three. Okay, so no matter what happens, I'm solving the stage. That's why I have put an X there because I have three nine sixty Ts. And um, 
I may even have another eligible eligible chip here. So yeah, that's definitely happening. These two to three each stages again, I mean, I don't have the GPUs. I don't have anything that's really relevant. I mean, I might, one of those might be Wolfsdale, Wolfdale or something. Um, uh, ground, the first 960 Ti I got is, you'll have a card, okay. Well, maybe one of these, maybe the HT3000 thing. Um, but um, the first 960T uh, that I've ever put into a system gave me uh, six cores. Since then, I bought two more. I'll have to check if they're if they're actually unlockable or not. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, okay, what else do we have here? So Heaven Basic, GeForce 9. I, I think I have a GTX, or if that exists, or um, uh, what is it, GT? Is that a thing? Anyway, I'll go, hello, mate. Um, man, this, this chat box is not great. Uh, tripping off acid. Okay. Hi. Hopefully you're not literally tripping off acid or if you are, hopefully you're enjoying it. Who's excited about the movie glass? Ran over 1200. Nice. Okay. So the physics test is a bit of a nebulous, uh, We'll have to wait for the actual competition page to come out to see what it is. It might be Firestrike, it might be 3 Mark 11. Uh, I don't know, I haven't really looked into that too deeply. DDR3. I am definitely, definitely, definitely st subbing stage one because I have Rampage 3 Extreme on the way. Um, I don't think, I think I have six cores already, just not the optimal six cores, but anyway, I. Why did I make that a maybe? Maybe that's a that's a that's a definite. Unless there's some sort of weird shortage of thirteen sixty six um, or uh, chips. Basically, DDR three is mostly a yes for me because I have all the RAM that I need. I have all the boards that I need by the FM one board, uh, and uh, even in terms of GPUs, I'm not short of much. Uh, AM three SuperPi thirty two M for sure that's a done deal i love x265 uh, 4k so i'm definitely subbing that i just yeah i have to get the six core but there's so many stages that need the six core that i'm definitely getting the six the six core i have i even have three memory pots so i could go wild and just um get the ram call there as well psc uh, we'll see how much time i have so fm1 i've actually uh ask Christian Ney for his one FM1 board. So if nobody else buys that, which I hope, I mean, people might be asking him for it now, but I asked, you know, weeks ago. Yeah, I have, um, I have a triple kit of hypers. I have f uh, eight sticks of PSC and I have three, three dual kits of Samsung. So basically DDR3, it would take a lot for me to run out of the right IC for those. Okay, so 4K will be nice. GPU Pi, one of my favorite benches. I just don't have either the chip or the board at the moment, but it's the sort of th like it's the stage with the where I have the least hardware, but I'm sort of almost most the most motivated to actually buy it. Um, 600 series GPU. I don't have the GPU, but um, I have a very good 4770K. Um, I have a 780 Ti Kingpin. Just need the six core Ivy, but that's required in so many different stages that I'll probably buy one. Um, 3 Mark 11. Uh, I have eligible GPUs. Uh, I don't really remember what CPU to use here though. So it'll, yeah, Ivy again, okay. FM2, I just checked today. I haven't put it into a board yet, but I looked at my purchase history that, yeah. Uh, the thing is, I didn't remember this. I've never benched this chip, but I bought a 7650K way back and I have the chip. So unless it was dead on, on arrival, I definitely have absolutely everything I need here. Again, I have all the RAM to choose from. Uh, I'll LM2 this. Well, depends on where the cold bug is. But anyway, I'll absolutely max out this stage for sure. It might even be the first thing that I bench besides Threadripper. DDR4. Um, the problem with the first stage is Kohlberg is high. 
Yeah, I thought I heard from some people that's like minus 60 to minus 100 or so. I actually have all of the chips. So the 7350K, 6300, 6100, that would potentially be the three subs here. The problem is the Apex 9 doesn't do, you know, case queue, non case queue unlocking. And I'm, my MOCF is sick at the moment. I, I think I can bring it back, but it's just a question of um, whether it's going to happen in time and all that kind of stuff. Um, I need to see KBX. Is allowed, yeah. Yeah, that's what I said at the beginning. You know, look, all of this speculation that I'm making here is just, it's all contingent on the fact that, um, you know, maybe maybe HEDT or whatever is disallowed. And then, of course, it's a completely different ball game. Um, yeah, this white background isn't great, is it? Okay, hold on. Shouldn't really be doing this midstream, but anyway. Um, okay. Yeah, so why crunchers? Somebody somehow suggested that hyperthreading doesn't matter. Uh, in that case, yeah, we don't have three sky X. Yeah, for any of the stages that require massive multi-core, it's just a it's just going to be a bit of a mess. Um, we probably have like one lower chord Skylake X um, submission. Oh, okay, it does. Okay, rip. That means um, no 7640X in that ch stage. Um, so the uh, by core Cinebench 15, I'll get back to that later. That's a little bit more interesting. PC Mark 7, right? So it seems like the GPU matters here. So I think with the 980 Ti and uh, 16 core Threadripper, I could be pretty okay in that. But yeah, it's a bit of an awkward bench because it goes on forever. So I don't know if I want to LM2 that or chill it or could be interesting. Um, Aquamac AMD, obviously I'm, that's the only Ryzen Sage really here. So I'm definitely gonna do that. Um, so what else is there? Vantage, um, I would prefer not to have to sub that, but I think um, NVMe drives. Yeah, so yeah, I might have to like raid, raid zero some NVMe. That's the good thing about Threadripper for that stage that is that you can just go raid zero on a gazillion drives. I'll have to see what I do for that. I'll, I'll, to be honest, I'll probably do um, GPU and CPU scaling testing first, and then towards the end, sort of maybe make a comparison between RAID Zero SSDs and uh, just an NVMe drive and stuff, and just see how how much it, of a difference it makes. Because I was looking at the Global First at the moment, and the Global First is a twenty seven hundred X with a ten eighty Ti. So it seems like nobody has really benched this at all, even less than other unranked um, uh, benches. So I don't really know. Uh, I'll have to just start from scratch on that one. And the other thing is you need a key or else you have to be online. So I might have, might have to make an OS just for this PC Mark 7 crap because I don't put any of my OSs online. Okay, yeah, so Aquamark, a definite submission, of course. Second gen Ryzen for all three subs, for sure. Um, Vantage already talked about, yeah, SLI, no way am I doing that, I don't have any. My best GPU is a 980 Ti, so, and I don't have a second one, so. Um, APU Firestrike, so we'll just have to coordinate, obviously, within the team, who gets a 2400G and who gets a 2200G. I would imagine that would be two of the subs. The third sub is a bit of a mystery, we don't really know. Uh, it might actually turn out that it, it's 2400G and then like an 8700K or something and then something else. I don't know, It's a, I haven't really looked into this stage. Um, I do have a detailed breakdown here, but what do I, I don't want to look at every single stage out of the 32. Um, what do I want to look at? So maybe sort of 
So the interesting thing about 754 is that everyone's debating whether the restriction should be taken away, the Venice restriction. Uh, I hope that doesn't happen because then it's mobile chips and they're really expensive. Um, I don't know what's going to happen at that stage. I don't think it's really worth talking about at the moment. Um, the 478 stage is kind of interesting because you have mobile chips um, sprinkled in with regular Pentium 4s. I have this board and I may even have a 2.8 uh, Pentium that's the right the right um, uh, core architecture or whatever, the right amount of cash. I'd have to see. So this might actually be a, a, a stage I end up subbing. Uh, I just don't know. My DDR1, I, yeah, I think I only have a single stick of it. So, no, I have multiple sticks, but they're just all complete trash. Uh, if you think my DDR2 that I just showed you is bad, wait until I see, wait until you see my regular DDR because I I, I actually asked for TCCD from uh, Ney, Christian Ney, but he has many kits. So maybe I'll get one, but as it stands, I, I'm really thin on the ground there. Um, 939 is a platform I really like, but it's just, yeah, again, I asked for an Ultra G from Nay. So a lot of the DDR1 and 2 stuff I can kind of skip over because, yeah, you all, you, most of you guys already know these um, breakdowns. Um, what I would like to talk about a little bit more maybe is, for example, 775, right? If somebody in chat can tell me the ins and outs of Yorkfield versus Kenfield here, because when I was looking at the rankings, let me actually pull them up. Um, so if people don't know this, uh, there's this way to, to look for submissions on a, on a particular platform. So we're looking for a W prime a thousand and twenty four. Uh, so yes, Aussie internet, of course. It's gonna be slow. Um, and just socket is four seven eight. It's gonna be duplicates here, but I think you'll get the idea. Um, hold on, no, it's LGA. LGA seven seven five. So if you look here, ugh, that was too much. Um, so the 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 nine thousand series is one architecture. I think it's Yorkfield, which is dominating the the front page, but it's all just two different SKUs. Um, actually, it's all. Hold on. Let's go to a hundred limit. So you have 9650, 9770, 9650, all the way through. And here's one interesting thing. You have a Xeon at five gigahertz. And I think this is the other architecture, isn't it? So this is Yorkfield. So what's 965? Is that Yorkfield as well? Yeah, it's York field, field as well. So maybe it's clear cut. Maybe it's all York Field. I was looking at this earlier and I saw some um, Q9 6000 results. Yeah, here we go. So here's a Kent's Field. Yeah, okay. Looks like York Field is, is going to be the best. But um, we'll see if we can actually get three different ones. Um, okay, 65 nanometer and doesn't clock as high. Okay, seems like Yorkfield is the way to go. And then maybe Xeons, even though, well, there were um, LGA 775 Xeons as well as 771 Xeons, weren't they? So we might end up with two regular Yorkfields and a Xeon Yorkfield that's native 775. Okay, this stage is interesting, right? Um, so Thuban isn't allowed. So the look, or the way I was looking at it today is it's the 
any skew that has four numbers in it. So 10,000 or 1,090 and 90t, 1,100t. Uh, was Zeon allowed at all on 775? So was it only 1366 where they're allowing Zeons? Um, anyway, for AM3, uh, with Thuba not allowed, you would think that um, 960T, 980 and so on are the best, but I think this chip uh, also unlocks to six, six cores. Opterons, yeah, they're usually allowed in all the competitions. Okay, I'm gonna have to just do another search here because Okay, so it was AM3, was it Cinebench or something? Yeah, Cinebench 11.5. Because this is quite interesting. You mightn't think of this chip, but I don't know how, how um, likely it is for these chips to unlock. <laughs> so, okay, ban, 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 ban. And then here you get the 960T. So we're obviously subbing 960T. There must be at least five of them in the team. But what what are the second and third submissions in those stages? Um, maybe a 970, Propus core. But it's only, um, I mean, cores are cores, right? You know, six of any core is, is usually going to beat four of another core. So we are, here we have a 970 with five cores active. I wonder if these 970s ever actually unlock to six. Anyway, um, so mostly 960s, one 970. Uh, these are all banned, 1000 series are all banned, banned. More 960s, banned again. All these weird and wonderful SKUs that nobody's ever heard of. Nine, 1055T, never heard of it. You keep scrolling, right? That's the first 100 sub submissions, but then this is ordered by actual score, right? So more band stuff, no more 960Ts. And here you go, a 645T. Uh, Sosma core, apparently. And there's a couple of them. And I guess these people unlocked them to five cores. Let's check. Six cores. So in my mind, this guy, that's definitely Definitely, definitely, definitely one of the three submissions. Unless, because 960Ts are known to be unlockable, right? But what are the chances of actually getting a six core unlock on a 980 or a 975? I, I don't even know if anybody does has been able to do that. So I've listed seven CPUs here, but as far from what I've been looking at today, these two are, are definite. I don't know. I'd like to hear your opinion on that. It's a, it's a little bit weird because if I go back to the ranking, I mean, you won't see another new SKU here for maybe another couple of hundred submissions, you know? Uh, I mean, eventually you see a really high clocked 550. Um, but yeah, that's, you know, 200 submissions in or more. Okay, so the funny thing about this um, X265 stage is, isn't it exactly the same? as the W prime stage. I don't think like, I think I can just get rid of Kenfield here because it's another 2D stage, which is again, DDR2 limited, which is again, multi -cored. So unless somebody tells me something else, I'm guessing stage four is just identical requirements to stage two here. Okay. The 3D stuff I'm going to um, probably skip over. I don't know if people have noticed this, but Phenom X, X6. What are you talking about? There, there is no X265 DDR2 AMD stage. There's a uh, LGA775 stage. Um, anyway, for this 3 one, people mightn't be aware, but you can kind of like have different uh, versions of DDR. So like 3870 DDR4, 3, and there's even three different SKUs for the 3850. But I'm not subbing that stage, so that's just a side note. Heaven Basic. 
complete question mark to me. I won't be solving that. So this is the stage maybe what you've been thinking about, Mick, uh, where the six cores are allowed. So a bit different to OC. Yeah, memory matters more for a 265, but isn't, isn't iron cores still king? I mean, at the end of the day, you're not going to go down to like a quad core just to get better in memory. So I would imagine it's still Yorkfield. I don't know, to be tested, I suppose. Um, so this mysterious physics stage is going to be all about six cores anyway. I don't know why I have um, graphics cards in here. Okay, slightly more interesting part of the whole discussion here. Can someone tell me why the West mirrors are the best here for Cinebench 15? I was looking again at the rankings and it was a bit weird because I know that, um, what is it, Bloomfield? Um, go, sorry, Golf Town. The, the i7 SKUs, the Golf Town SKUs, they also have six cores and hyperthreading. So is it a cash thing? I haven't really, yeah, they're cheap as fuck, but if you go, um, into the ranking, you'll actually see that they also are top of the rankings for some reason, which is a little bit more weird to me. Okay, so where are we at now? Um, LGI 1366, and it's Cinebench 15. So we have a a 990X here, but a Xeon at 4.6 beats it. Can someone explain that to me? I don't, is there just way more uh, level three cache or something? Because the list is incomplete. How, how is the list incomplete? In what sense? Is, uh, is the search incomplete or is the list I've put together into incomplete? It's efficiency. Okay, let's let's just compare. It's only th uh, two Cinebench points, right? But let's compare these two subs. So this is um, this is the top sub on the entire platform, LGA thirteen sixty six, E five six forty nine. Okay. So we had like ten eighty uh, Cinebench. Come on, internet, you can do it any day now. Okay, Cinebench 15, oh, 11.30. So that search term is just completely screwed. Okay, how can I, well, let us compare these two anyway, because, so here we're at 4.6 gigahertz, and here we're at 4.9, what? What is what is the factor that makes this? Oh, this is only the eighth sub. What the hell? Okay, that makes everything very different. Um, close this. Okay, Shaggy SVK. This is actually on liquid nitrogen. Okay, maybe we do need the um, the golf times there. Are those actually the best? Yeah, that is the individual listing. Um, yeah, okay, okay. I'm gonna re-add Golf Town here. Okay, those are easier to find for me, so I might get one of those and bench that on LN2. Yeah, I was just looking at the, at the um, 90 rankings. This is the top sub and it's 12,000 points. And earlier it was um, 10,080 something. Okay, let's look. Westmere. Hi, Marius. I 
anyway, okay. That search being broken uh, answers my question. So thanks for that. Um, what do people run these days for 1366? Is it PSC or Hypers? Okay, what did you mean? <laughs> You're on hypers, okay. So M3, um, SuperPy 32M, I'm definitely gonna run that. Back to the 990X Cinevent rankings, okay. Okay. Uh, Cinevent 15, where are you? Okay, here we are. There's only one LN2 result. And now pick Westmere up here. Is that what you mean? 1329. Okay, that's what I didn't know is that um, the 990X is not Westmere. Is that right? Oh, it is. It's down here. Isn't this broken again? Because, oh, here we go. Okay. So there's only two LN2 results on the entire architecture okay 13 cent that settles it okay I'm getting an, an i7 all right makes sense okay so superpy 32m on am3 this is what I put it, picked out in terms of chips that might be good here here we get into the interesting part because I'm gonna have to grab one of these five chips to be able to sub here 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 and here oh no hold on not this one okay so these three one two three x2 x5 six seventy five yeah i'll just grab whatever i can find i know so very so very little about fm1 but i really want to um bench it yeah not multiply limited um, so this one's interesting. I don't have the GPU, but I have a very good 4770K. So if I can pick up one of these CPUs, this will be the stage I'll definitely sub, even though I'm not a big fan of 3D. Uh, here I have the 780 Ti. I may still not end up subbing here. It just depends. Um, okay. Okay, what else? Yes, so here I, as I was saying earlier, I have, what is it? The 7850K, I think? No, 7650K. Uh, so like I was men mentioning in Discord earlier, there's a little bit of a question mark over what the third chip will be here. I think usually the breakdown is, is by what GPU is included. So that's why I put like the 512 shader one. We would have to pick one of these four chips and one of these three chips and then something else. But apparently the um, the R5 uh, 7000 series chip would still be better than the 6000 series. Okay, almost there now. I already talked about this. Um, it's a, it's kind of, there's there's been rumors about two two core horizons. Uh, they're just not gonna be out in, in, in time to be legal for this competition but I reckon they would actually be much more competitive than think people might think but in any case as long as I can get my motherboard working I own I don't think I have the 6320 but I own the other three chips and I've been e eager to bench them anyway so and I have four copies of the 7350k so hopefully I can get a good one good submission out there um, that's what I would do actually if my motherboard is dead forever. I would just um, bench the 7350K on the Apex 9. So why cruncher? Um, so apparently hyper threading is relevant. Uh, that actually means we eliminate this one. So we basically have to find somebody with a with a 6700K. Uh, I don't know if you really have anybody in the team with a 6700K, but um, that's what's gonna be required here. 
you have how can you have one you're you're that's the wrong chip manufacturer mate so this per core stage here is quite interesting it's in a box <laughs> keep it there nice okay we've got people with uh 6700 k's um, 18 months, wow. So, the tendency for per core um, benches is to go lower, to try and bench a, you know, like a, a dual core or quad core instead of a, a hex core, uh, because there's no not perfect scaling. But actually, I just took the top results here. Um, the top 7350K is a more obscene bin, I would argue, than let's say the top 7700K, yet it has less Cinebench per core. So basically what you want, you definitely want a 7700K sub, I would, I would say. Um, actually, just because of the better binning and everything, you probably want an 8700K or 8086K sub as well. And then depending on what we have in the team, the third sub in my estimation would be a 7740X. Um, skip this. Just for comparison, I put in a, a Ryzen 6 core, but obviously it's quite a bit behind. Um, they are subs up on Hyperbot of the 2300X and 2500X, but I don't think they're gonna be retail in time for the submission uh, for this competition so i actually kind of looked at the numbers and i think a really really good bin of something like a 2500x would potentially be a third sub here but it's just it's just not going to be allowed so um this stage could have been really interesting but it's probably a couple of months too early for it to be really interesting um but in any case i have a 7740x but I think Frito has one as well. And mine would probably cap out at about 6.5 or 6.6 .6 gigahertz. So um, I'm, I'm happy to sub it or a 7350K, but I may not end up subbing here just if depending on who else is going on LN2 here. So PC Mark, I don't know what way that this is going to go um, definitely lots and lots of testing required I will be subbing a 1950x that's pretty sure I don't know if I'm gonna be going chiller or LM2 what kind of scaling to expect from the GPU in this what kind of how crazy to go on the on the storage side with all the PCI Express lanes on on that system um, there's definitely potential to go pretty wild, but um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, if you had to ask me, I would say um, the top three will pro probably be 7980XE, 7960X, and uh, maybe 1950X, or to be a bit more pessimistic, probably the 14, 14 core Intel will still win out because of memory. Um, but I just don't know how all the other aspects of PC Mark just sort of come into the final um, score there. So yeah, I'll be solving Threadripper because we don't have much Skylake X in the team, but I really don't know what's gonna happen here. Uh, Aqua Mark, pretty straightforward. Probably gonna be able to just um, keep keep the GPU on stock, on air, just overclock it slightly maybe. Um, and just anything second gen Ryzen is, is all you need here. Second gen because you don't want to be in a situation where you're on, you're on LN2, but you're um, Infinity Fabric or RAM limited. So yeah, I'll definitely be subbing. At the moment, I only have a 2600, but it's probably gonna change by the time this competition ends. Vantage. Um, yeah, just all depends on what, what GPUs are in the team. Maybe we can get Yoss's uh, Chip Vega back from the dead. <laughs> No, probably not. But I I saw on the nineteen fifty X and the nine eighty Ti if required. Um, I'll do some vantage testing later on, probably. Um, okay, dual GPU I don't care about because 
Yeah, I, I, that's probably going to be a weak spot in the team because unless Bilko can get like a Threadripper dual Vega setup going or something, I can't really imagine who... I mean, we have a Titan in, in the team, but it's probably going to be banned and you can't SLI it, so there's there's a few ten oh maybe that's that's more than I expected um there's a few 1080 ti's floating around but then you'd probably have to pool them to be able to get one sub together and we have I think we have a 7940x in the team but yeah this is probably going to be a stage where uh, yeah any any sub is, is 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 a good sub kind of thing so the IG last but not least the IGPU stage Ah, dual TI is nice. Uh, but do you have a chip? You need a chip with it. Um, if you were to ask me, I would imagine, like, 2700X, okay. Richie, yeah. Ah, that's, that's good. Always glad to have more people join the team. So here, if the safe bet would be to say the two Ryzen APUs plus probably a top end um, Intel, but it really can go any direction. I mean, depending on how good your IGPU is and your Intel CPU, especially, um, yeah, maybe even something as obscure as the the earlier AM4 chips, dual three ninety, yeah. That would be decent. So I have absolutely no qualms about getting one of these APUs, but I will have to get a board that has decent IGPU overclocking. Three TIs, impressive. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, the third sub in this, in this stage could be just anything really. So I need to get a new board, but otherwise definitely solving this. Um, so yeah, I have 10 stages that I can definitely start working on today, but I also have put together a shopping list for myself. <laughs> um, all right. I think if anybody wants to mention anything else about Team Cup, go ahead. But, uh, this has been a sort of reasonable length of time spent on breaking down 32 stages, which aren't even properly defined yet. Um, so I'm going to go on to the unboxing, but for the rest of the stream, mention Team Cup if, if you want to. I, I'm certainly excited about it, so I'm not going to be annoyed or anything like that if, uh, if somebody brings it back up. PMU about 1366 CPUs. Okay, I can. I mean, my board um, has left China and is due to arrive probably this week. It is from AliExpress, so it may be fake, but once I have it here and I've hooked it up and I've put a CPU in it and it doesn't blow up, then we can talk about CPUs and things. I expect it to be all right, but there's no guarantee of that. All right, um, time to unbox something. Something quite big. <laughs> I don't think uh, a spare board for um, 1366. Hopefully this isn't too loud. Gonna make some space. Would probably be the longest boxing ever unboxing ever because there's so much bubble wrap around this is this was actually posted in this condition there was no box around it the guy just gave up and just bubble wrapped it so what are people's um impressions about team cup are you excited annoyed um disappointed I think the breakdown is quite good because um, last year we had sort of 2D and 3D 
and MISC 1 and MISC 2 and it was a bit weird because you never knew what stage was in which subcategory but this year it's pretty clear 11.55 yeah I just uh, picked up uh, a Rampage 5 Extreme so I'm a bit sad that I can't use that in Team Cup gonna be good um, yeah 11.56 right I started overclocking last year and, and it was Within weeks, I realized, what is this 11.56 thing? I've never heard of this. It is really a forgotten black platform. So two years ago, was it TDR123 as well? I wasn't, I wasn't part of Hyderabad. Of wrapping material for my next few eBay sales. Yeah, but people don't like uh, max memory frequency. Or do you mean like um, Super 532M, that kind of thing? X265? This must be one of the few X399M Thai cheese <laughs> in Australia because it doesn't exist here. I, I tried to buy this um, because I thought it was sort of a pretty good board considering all, you know, all of X399 uh, because it's also a four dimmer so maybe Memo C might be a little bit better um, but it would have cost me $800 on its own um, but now I picked up a 1950X for a good price with the board just for free, basically included. Not for free, but you get, I mean, you get what I mean. Um, seems to be in sort of new in box kind of condition as well. When's the last time I had an, an ASRock board? Don't even remember. One or two show builds, yeah, but it didn't, it's not retail in this country. Wi Fi antennas, socket protectors. SATA cables, IO guard. Okay, so this is only an empty box. The chip is actually in here. I mean, it's a nice board to show off and everything, but um, it may actually be a nice board to run as well. There we go. Um, yeah. Probably not going to be my PC Mark 7 board because, well, it has three M.2s, so it has potential. Let's get this this foam out of the way. I wish I could compare it to the other board. Maybe I should. I'm just going to shut down that PC just so I can take away the board. Because EATX versus MATX is it's pretty insane. Okay, I keep thinking the camera somewhere else. Um, yeah, two, two LANs. And as PS2, I always like that. 
but um, the socket to board ratio here is pretty insane. Yeah, I'm thinking about NVMe RAID. Okay, I'm just getting Psycho, yeah. We must get him benching some stuff. Maybe I can switch to, hold on. Does that do justice? There you go, nah. All right. Let me go the extra mile and take out this other board. EATX MATX. Oh, that's sideways. How can I show you this? I think you get the picture, but there you go. It's um it's quite a difference. So basically when I look at these, the the outside dim is on the very edge of the board on on the zenith is on the very edge of the board like it, it's in the place where the postcode and the power connector are here um otherwise i mean the vrm is i think they're both eight phases it's just i don't know they somehow managed to save some space um but i just like the fact that it's a it's a four dimmer. All right. So there's there's the board co comparison. Uh, now it is a good looking board. It really is a good looking board. I kind of don't want to put it on chiller or anything because it's just gonna, I don't know, get kind of grubby. Um, I like the fact that it has a regular sort of post display on the side there. Uh, where is it? Here. Um, it only has a, a four pin as a secondary connector, but I'm sure that's that's all right for what I'm using it for. What are the buttons actually? It just has power and reset. No retry or anything like that. I wonder what this button does there's a third button I don't know yeah it is a good layout I mean the the mem slots ugh. so the heat pipe like the mem slots go all the way up to against the heat pipe but don't, don't touch it obviously so even when they're open they're fine um, and at the bottom they almost go all the way to the first PCI Express slot so that's that's as space efficient as you can do it. Um, what I'm going to do now is going to take. I'm just going to take out this chip uh, the right way, which is take no children. <laughs> Bottom two screws first. I've done it the wrong way around so many times. My other socket is probably bent. Yeah, three, two, one. So when you're removing the chip, it's the bottom two first. And um, obviously the other way around when you're inserting a chip. Actually, I think it's time for a group photo. Here's the 1900X. Uh, gonna take out the other chip. Like having mem frequency in all four categories is a bit much, to be honest. 
it's labeled, but I still did it wrong twice at least. So, uh, okay, just gonna take out this chip as well. Again, this screw first, then this screw. And on top one. <laughs> Why not pop it out dirty? Okay, here we go. Um, a set of privately owned 1950X 1920x and 1900x on one desk all of them work um i'm not gonna say i'm gonna ln2 bench all of them but i think you get the idea all right time to put the the biggest chip into the board and do some vantage Six core seventy two threads. <laughs> yep. If only I could run them at the same time. So my socket is already so out of bent out of shape, it's kinda hard to Refasten these bottom bottom screws. <laughs> Ninety six cores. I don't know about that one. Thanks for the cheer, Mike. Much appreciated. Just gonna boot it up on air. Velcro. There's not enough Tim down there. Clearly not. What are you even talking about? It's the whole idea. I don't have to read Tim anything because it's just permanently gunked on there. Oh yeah, we have a post. It's always nice. Oh. Gay pride flags, nice. I think that's what they are. Didn't know that they existed in uh, Twitch chat, but that's good. Okay, so we have our 1950X. Um, it's, oh, it's boosting up to like 4.2 gigahertz. Okay, let me um, get my chiller into position. Uh, 
just going to shut down again. <laughs> Thanks for the cheers, Vilko. So there you go. Uh, it's kind of overexposed. Hold on. There you go. Isn't that lovely? That's how. Um, that's how I run Threadripper on a on a Hyper two twelve Evo. There's just so much chim there. It doesn't matter that it doesn't cover the entire IHS. No, I, 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 I run um I run chiller all the time. Um I I literally just booted up to see that the chip was okay. I don't see any reason to ever run air otherwise. Ella, this isn't even cold. Most threads on a on a desk. Okay, I gotta check that out. Okay, I can't compete with that. <laughs> I probably have that many CPUs, but a lot of them are dual and quad cores. This is just chiller. This isn't cold, Ella. I, I've taken CPUs on an N2 within minutes of them arriving in my uh, home. Um, Phenom, okay. Phenom 2 3X sub, I haven't, I haven't subbed that in a year, I subbed that when I just joined Hyperbot. Um, give me credit for being a noob back then. Okay, <clears throat> time to just connect some quick disconnects.
Just gotta add power to my pump. We're getting places. No, I am chilling down to two, three degrees, but I just don't consider that to be cold. For me, cold is um, single stage and above. Minus 20 is like single stage. Some single stages are only minus 20. I count that. The only problem with having the camera on the other side, it's great for um, more space on my desk, but you can't see the post LEDs. So that's a bit unfortunate on this board. I might have to think of a solution for that. Okay, thanks for sharing that submission, uh, Mick. 
as I already mentioned, it's from over a year ago, but I will be editing it. Don't don't worry. Uh, if not, I'll just you know talk to a, a sub um, a moderator or something. Let's make sure that this thing really has um, the same kind of IMC as as I'm used to in terms of the 12 core. Uh, so this was my Vantage preset. I went to 1.85 on the dims and I went to the 3600 strap. This should work at, at any temp on the, on the chiller. People keep pinging me here. All right, that looks like it might post. I have so much air in my loop though. No, the pump is fine. Mm -hmm. Bad memory settings, eh? It is a pretty long loop. Uh, let's just try a tad of suck fountain pumps can you use those in or cooling loops wow okay we have quite a long viewer list today the other problem with my new setup is I'm so far away that I may not be able to see the postcode myself. Aquarium pump. Yeah, I killed the weird LED post display thing that I don't want to call a postcode. But um, there's a set of LEDs next to the power connector that give give you a basic indication of RAM problem, VGA problem, CPU problem, and they're they're still working. Might have to work my way up the multipliers or something. This is a bit weird. I was expecting to, the IMC to be the same or better. I think this is another um, boot failure due to memory. It took so long, it can't be anything else. Okay. Um, let's do the old trick of going down a couple of multipliers and then going back up again. Um, let's set them. You know, sock doesn't do very much on on Threadripper on Ryzen. It might, but um, here it doesn't really. Four point five meters of max head. Don't know what that means, but it sounds good. Yeah, this is looking like it might post. Okay, that's a post. Okay, that's ladder R1. 
our way up to 3600 and then we can do a baseline run on um, 3600 with with no CPU applied liters per hour 4000 liters per hour not bad I'm not really into the whole water cooling thing I just have a pump and it works and that's fine <laughs> I don't need any more than that okay hopefully this laddering up works Yeah, maybe I should get a second pump. That's the best way to use hardware. My streaming PC is just hardware that's been lying around, so it's always good. A pond pump. Yeah, not too keen on that. Oh, 10 bits from Ella. Thank you. I missed that earlier. Must have been messing with my loop while that was happening. Hmm. Well, I already tried um, increasing VSOC a little bit. You had to uh, um, watch an ad. Yeah, I don't know where that comes from. The joy of getting memory settings to boot. I just want to get it running. I want to see if, it, if this passes 4.4 .4, just like the other one. I can't see from my chiller from here either. It's at 10 degrees at the moment. And I have to rethink really this setup. There are a few shortcomings. Come on, give me a memory boot, boot failure, please. not giving me the joy of a memory boot failure even how rude of it I have an installation well I had installation before too but it's just thing is I have one of my monitors on a on an arm and this way I can have it hanging on off the side of the table which is really nice because that gives me more space and I've always been complaining about space but um I just have to be aware of the fact that I can't see the post screen and I can't see um, my temp. Well, I, if I lean back, I can see my temps, but um, I might just have to put in extra cameras or something to uh, compensate for that. So I've pressed safe boot now, which usually works. Okay, the other trick we can try is, you know, go down in... Um, down in BCLK that sometimes works shitty installation it's you don't need much installation on CPU on GPUs it's a nightmare for um, chiller but on CPU it's all good
Yeah, I don't need, don't need it on the tubing either. That um, uh, that is shop towel. It go it comes in um, ten roll boxes. In fact. This is what it looks like all packaged up. There you go. I got 10 of those. Come on, little board. Give me the joy of posting something. All right. That's a bit of a bummer that the higher multiplier won't work, but Ultimately, I just want to see what the core will do. So, Sleepy Crosshair, nice. Uh, the thing is, it's a Zenith, but uh, maybe I need a Sleepy Zenith uh, <laughs> emoticon. I have to check my timings. Maybe, maybe I'm a bit. Yeah, maybe I should. Sleepy Rog. This is looking like it might post. It's only 12, 11, 11, 11. Okay, let's boot into Windows. AM2, yeah, AM2 can be a good platform to, to chill. Just gotta um, install Turbo V and the latest system info, I guess. Don't sell the Rampage formula. We need that for the DDR2 stages. AM2 boards with core unlock. That is an interesting question. So now my Windows won't boot. A better board. Oh yeah, let's give it a one, one retry. What's a better DDR2 LGA775 board? I wouldn't know. I just know the Rampage. Yeah, that's the thing. So, um, I, I just know, especially for quad core to five and six core unlocking, I just know a handful of boards that can do it. So. I'm getting a hang on here, which is um, a little strange. I may have to just settle, settle for a 33, 33 or something for the sakes, sake of this, um, this stream. Just jam DDR2 dims into a, a Rex and see what happens. It's such a legendary board, maybe it will handle it. Oh, so the Rampage 2 is a, is a DDR2 board? We're at 5.7. <laughs> CMOS resets. What is going on, Windows? Oh, here we go. This is a boot. Bad pool header. Haven't seen that blue screen before. 
bad pool header. <laughs> Perfect boot, yeah indeed. It's usually PCI.sys on Windows 7 on Threader Pro. Okay. Gen 1 is set. I'm really not asking anything outrageous out of these dims. So 750 Southbridge, is that needed for core unlocking or for some other reason to allow those chips to run on it? Core unlocking. Yeah, there may be very, very few of them. I think Leghoff knows what he's doing. Oh, I don't have maximum set. That might be um, part of the issue. Okay, time to go back to optimize defaults, set maximum, and go back. Yeah, maximum's format and rampage formula. That is interesting how they both existed back in the day. <laughs> yes, yeah, part of the issue. <laughs> I mean, it might be 99% of the issue, but it is part of the issue. That's the English language for you. <laughs> so this is it. This is the beginning of efficiency testing for, for Team Cup. It's a slow start, but, um, you know, got to start somewhere. I ran back to 2400. Just set any maximum, really, 1200 or something. Windows recovery, yeah. It's pretty pretty easy. Double restart windows. Pretty nice too. I hate when um, keyboard and mouse aren't being recognized. It's such a weird issue, such a banal issue. Okay, 3466. Um, we don't do want to tighten up the RAM a bit. Optimize defaults, disable USB. It is funny how, like, there is still a Windows 10 32 bit. You know, 32 bit Athlons were introduced in 2003 or 4 or something. That's a long time to go um, on supporting 32 bit. But, um,. By the same token, it's a bit weird how PS2 be is being um, gotten rid of 
for no reason really it's it's the better standard really for USB and mouse I mean obviously for other stuff USB is amazing um, all right let's run map vantage just to make sure that our memory is okay uh, let's run just physics obviously because graphics takes forever So I've got to install Turbo V, enable diag mode, all that kind of stuff, but let's just make sure our RAM isn't completely screwed. Oh, okay, yeah, I should possibly change my desktop resolution so it matches this um, this test resolution. I think that's that's probably worthwhile. So a 7980XC gets 138,000 CPU score. Let's see where we land. 70,000. Okay. That's already around the same as, as what I did at 4.4 gigahertz. So that's not bad. Uh, okay, I've got to change my desktop res. Oh yeah, disable SMT. Fair enough. I get around to it. On Intel, disabling SMT gives you better IMC performance. Maybe I'll get it here too. Who knows? I know Ryzen 8 core can do that, White Shark. We're only at the beginning of our journey here. You've got to, um, you know, remember everything that's going on here. We we have months of optimization ahead of us. We can't just optimize on the first day and be happy with it. That's code for I don't know what I'm doing, but um, and I've had a beer. Oh, SMT is already off, Bilko. Um, 
got to change my power plan as well. Lost my capture card completely. All right, got to restart.